Hello everyone. So before you get started with tallying of temperature rise, let's go over the main issue that this activity addresses, climate change. So you've probably heard this phrase climate change used in conversation before, whether it's in the classroom, or you've heard your parents talking about it, or you've heard it brought up in the news. Climate change describes the changes in the average conditions of an area. So this could mean an increase in temperature or an increase in precipitation, like rainfall or snowfall. So when discussing climate change, it's important to know what the word climate means. And even more importantly, it's important to understand the difference between what climate is and what weather is. Climate describes the weather conditions of a certain area at a certain time of year. So for example, in a city like New York, do we expect sunny weather with clear skies in the middle of January? No, typically we expect overcast with maybe a little bit of snow. So how is this different from weather? Well, weather is what's going on right now outside. So take a moment, pause this video, and if you can, go over to your window and see what the conditions are like outside. So, is it sunny? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Whatever's going on outside your window right now, that's what the weather is. So how do we tie these concepts in with climate change? Well, climate change can affect both the climate and the weather of a certain area. These effects can include things like warmer winters, heavier rainfall, stronger hurricanes, wildfires, and even disrupting the migration patterns of certain animals. So why is the climate changing? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. Humans burning fossil fuels, humans increasing their consumption of meat, producing goods like laptops and smartphones, all of these play a role in increasing the temperature of our planet because they all emit something called greenhouse gases. How are greenhouse gases created? Well, burning coal, oil, or natural gas to produce electricity are some of the more common ways in which they're made. And when they're made, they go up into the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases work to hold in some of the solar radiation emitted by the sun, just like an actual greenhouse does. Greenhouse gases are gases that work to keep our planet warm, but too many of them can cause our planet to heat up excessively like we're seeing today. Some of the most common greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, or CO2, methane, and water vapor. So when did we start putting all these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere? Well, we've always been burning things to produce energy. Energy to either keep ourselves warm or to make food. But it really wasn't until the Industrial Revolution that we started emitting greenhouse gases in such massive amounts. When the Industrial Revolution started, countries all over the world started to dramatically increase their production of goods. This increase in production, however, led to an increase in greenhouse gases. This rapid change in how we produce goods had a lot of benefits and is generally thought to have increased both the quality and length of life for a lot of people. However, it also had a lot of unintended consequences. When you produce more goods, you need more resources. And when you use more resources, you tend to produce more waste. This demand for resources led to rapid deforestation or the destruction of forests and more pollution, with a lot of this pollution being greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere. So what can we do? Well, climate change is a very complex global issue that not one person, city, or country can solve on its own. When these large groups come together, though, to implement new policies and make improvements in technology, that's when real change happens. As an individual, there are a few things you can do, though. Contacting your local political representative and seeing what environmental initiatives they've taken is a huge step. You can also volunteer with environmental organizations or even consider a career in the environmental field. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of climate change and greenhouse gases. While this is in no way all-encompassing of this issue, hopefully you learned a little bit about what causes climate change and the effects that it has on the environment. Make sure to keep this info in the back of your mind as you're playing the activity too. Thanks for watching.